Hello and welcome to a lovely little video in the world of Monster Hunter. It's lovely because I've said so. All right, all right. Light bow gun changes. First thing to mention is that the king tariff blitz support is back, and although hit for hit, the normal three rapid fire does hit harder. The pure DPS uptime of tariff blitz support is just phenomenal. It literally does wipe the floor with pretty much everything however if you don't have taroth blitz support then i do have a relatively decent alternative for you this is the safi's drake shot which up until recently honey hunters didn't even show as being able to rapid fire level to normal so we've got a four shot in the weapon along with two attack augments in a defense normal capacity level three and then attacks across the board four shot attack attack in the helmet which is safi brachydia mount with release vitality tenderize attack safi gloves with release vitality tenderizer tenderizer brachy belt with critical vitality attack and safi boots with challenger mind's eye attack and we're running the fury charm here simply because at maximum you can hold 380 normal level twos and with rapid fire if you run out of ammo then you're probably either standing too far back or you should put your glasses on anyway on to the taroth blitz support got two attack augments and a defense or i've actually swapped that to an element ailment one just because it just generally helps out with paralysis sleep and poison which this weapon fires so it just saves you one or two ammo and you get a huge defense buff with it anyway and then for custom upgrades we're going attack across the board four shot in the weapon and then four shot in the helmet as well with two attack brachydia male beta with release vitality tenderizer attack Safi gloves with Reef Vitality, Tenderizer, Tenderizer, Brachydium folds with Critical Vitality attack, and Safi boots with Challenger, Mind's Eye, and Expert. You might notice the build is pretty much the exact same, apart from that last Expert. With the Drake shot, it's an attack, just because it comes with 5% Infinity and support doesn't. Again, rocking the Fury Charm, because to take that out and then mix around with Challenger and Fury Decos, just to fit them in, as well to compensate for the uh, spare shot charm just you would end up just losing too much and you wouldn't get enough return for it overall this weapon is a beast although the drake shot on a single bullet will hit up to 15 percent harder due to the recoil plus one and the fast reload overall dps is insane checked it out with good old tuna one of those Monster Hunter math guys, and tested it as well myself. Support over one minute of continuous fire against the training room post does 9,253 damage. Drake does 7,083. So that's 2,200 more damage, despite the fact that on a single hit, Drake shot does 15% more damage. That should tell you all you need to know about DPS and rate of fire with a bowgun. That is annoyingly basically the only real decent change that has actually come to light Bowgun with the Cool Turoff in Master Rank release. Although a lot of people have been excited to get the Kya Elemental Light Bowguns back, I wish to show you something. And this is actually ridiculous. So this is the best I could muster with the Kya Blitz Ice. Uh, pretty much all the builds bar Thunder are the exact same and have the exact same values. Now, in a single shot, this will do near enough 200 damage, including the, you know, the single shot with rapid fire. First bullet hits for about 111, and then after that, they're about 50-ish each. So it's about 200 damage. This is against the training room post as well, by the way. Um, the only downside to it is... It's damn slow because it's recoil 2 and a normal reload. And you only get four bullets in a clip. Whereas with the Safis, they get recoil 2, a fast reload, and you get about seven to nine bullets in your clip, depending 
on how you've got it awakened slash custom mods. Overall then, uh, yeah, DPS wise, although the single hits do hit about 20% harder per bullet, overall DPS, the Safi light bow guns literally double the Kiars. Like, easily. It's like, not even funny. I don't even know how to express this even more. The Kiar light bow guns as an elemental light bow gun are flat out not worth it. If you wish to use them, then that was one build. You can have to pause them because I'm not going to go over it. However, they really are just not worth it. I thought I'd try out a little bit of Bracadium as well. I'm now sacrificing two affinity to get four more raw, but I'm losing over 15 elements. So adding Bracky is literally just not worth it as well. The only one that I could really find that would potentially be worth it just because of how hard it can hit and how consistently it can hit was the Thunder. And the only reason that is, is quite simply because it comes with a decoration slot on the weapon, which means we can put an expert deco in there to get a little bit more affinity out of it, which does put its damage at a stupid level because of where you're going to be consistently critting a little bit more however still compared to bolt shot overall bolt shots dps is about 37 percent higher which is insane but if you do want to have a look at the thunder again you have to pause because in my opinion these just are not worthwhile to even go over but yeah the only way in which these would even be remotely worth it is if you could somehow get, I think you'd need eight spare shots in per magazine, roughly, to even make it worthwhile to catch up to the relative decent DPS of the Safi elemental shots. But honestly, the, if you want to use them, these are the best options I could provide. But honestly, I would say just stick with the Safi light bow guns. They are just infinitely better. Anyway, that just about does it for me. Have fun, good luck, and don't die. Bad for the health.